Welcome to day one of the 2023 Southeastern Truck Nationals. Before we get started on any of the show coverage, I gotta give a shout out to Joel. He just dropped off this freaking awesome Chevrolet bow tie. He made this on his laser cutting CNC machine and powder coated it. So if you guys wanna get something like this done, he said he could literally do just about anything you want, JK welding and fabrication. I'll drop his uh, Instagram handle and some contact info down in the description, but let's get started on the show coverage for the Southeastern Truck Nationals. Posting up, square body gear. They're nice enough to let the uh, OBS park in the back over there. This is Sarah's truck. You guys saw that while we were riding up. Truck ran really good, super fun. We're gonna have some more trucks parked here tomorrow. We got C10 squared over here. He drove his 72 out. What's up, brother? What's up? How you doing? Doing good, hot and sweaty. Yeah, man. Wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. We ride, we ride. <laughs> Slosh tubs, this guy lives actually in my home state of Arkansas, makes all these parts. Filler panels for your firewalls. These uh, the tubs for your engine bays. They got all kinds of different sizes. Speaker boxes for behind the seat. Perfect example. It's got his filler panels in the firewall, his tubs, his side fender panels. I think he makes these as well. But I mean, just look at that engine bay. Super nice. This guy's posted up with us. Uh, he's staying where we're staying at. Thinks he uh, collapsed a lifter on the driver's side, or the, uh, sorry, passenger side. And uh, he started it up a little while ago and it was sounding pretty rough. I think I've seen this guy on the power tour. Yep, saw this guy on the power tour last year. Super cool truck. Got simple C10 set up here today. He, I think he just got this one done relatively recently. Got that little LS action in there with a the Holly mid-mount front runner. Tin works fab. Now these guys make all kinds of really cool stuff for your truck. C-notches rear helper bag kits, all kinds of stuff. They got all kinds of goodies. Check this thing out. Derek thinks this was at Battle in Bama. I don't remember seeing this truck. And I definitely don't remember seeing this truck. Chevy Love. There's another yellow one over there, but this one, it's got some what? Some 20s on here? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Yeah, it's got them 20s on there. Oh, uh, so Corsart, I have these wheels on the Blazer, the manufacturer on the Blazer. They, this wheel is a 12 inch in the rear without any modification to your uh, to your your fenders at all. So you can tuck a 12 inch wheel on your square body with the Corsars. I think it was with the Alcatraz. Got LMC truck over here, but check out this Blazer. So we got a 1980 Blazer over here at the Raceline booth. Look at these <laughs> wheels. I've never seen these wheels before. It's pretty gnarly. Oh man, in this interior. Smells so good. They got the, uh, still got the, the texture on the top with the louvers on the side. Ooh, look at the back, man. All this distressed leather. This is a very nice, nicely appointed blazer. C10 Fall Revival. That is a show I'm definitely going to this year to win this raffle sport truck. It's a 92 C1500 V8 AC power windows, power locks. To be given away July 27th, 2024, 5.30 p.m. There's all the info. Oh, we got one on air. And it's for sale. Metal Massacre Fab Shop in the house. Been following this dude on YouTube for a while, but haven't gotten the chance to meet him in person yet. If you don't follow his channel, hop on over to the YouTubes, check them out. And they just got this one on the road as well. This one, I believe, is in, yeah, inline six. They had some interesting uh, first ride content on this one. What's up, bro? Just checking the trucks out. Glad to see you guys made it. See all the problems. No, yeah, that's patina, man. That's supposed to be like that. <laughs> that was super cool getting in. Being, golly, <laughs> having trouble talking today. 
Super cool being able to meet those guys. Moving on, check it out. We're at Sweet Patina here. So uh, this is actually uh, one of my buddies out of Ocala. It's cool to see that his truck made it on one of their banners. I got a truck uh, just like this, except it's not on a custom chassis. It doesn't slam on the ground like this. It's not on air and it's not nearly as nice as this one, but it's the same color. And it's a 67, not a 68. Any who's great company here. They make all kinds of stuff, not only for preserving your patina, but also like detail products. Like they're, I use their all-purpose cleaner all the time. Their happy ending detail spray. I mean, they have all kinds of super good stuff. So check them out. And Rusto Mod is set up at the Sweet Patina booth. I have seen this dude's stuff before on YouTube, but I can't say I'm super familiar with it. But yeah, check them out, Rusto Mod. It's got some cool stickers there. <laughs> we got Brian Motorsports over here set up they built some really cool stuff riddler wheels retro liner they have a 2009 to 2018 ram man you could just probably make a bedwood kit for just about any truck make some really cool stuff oh here you go super nice it's pretty cool We've got square body usa over here I see some really nice OBS trucks over here. We're going to have to go check these guys out. What's up, bro? What's up? How you doing, man? I was just, that, that caught my eye too. What's happening? <laughs> Not much, brother. So here we got Twin States Rod Shop. They had that killer OBS there. They have these killer OBSs, but look at this 67 rolling in right now. Good God. That is beautiful. Definitely seen these trucks over at Battle and Bama. This Dooley's caught my eye, but I haven't seen it up close. Some nice paintwork. Oh, he's got like a little clear coat thing, uh, protector right there. I gotta put that on my truck. Wow. That's clean. I think he's got that protectant. Yep, he's got it on the, his uh, dually fenders too. Smart. It's a nice 67 step side here in my favorite color. So I'm standing basically in the middle of the show. So we got, if you look over here, we have trucks that are parked all along here. There's tons of trucks over there on the other side. We got a whole bunch of trucks over here. And then this is like all your vendors and whatnot. Speaking of vendors, Pro Performance made their way out from the West Coast over in, I believe, Arizona. They have a ton of great parts. I've used a bunch of their stuff. Uh, I've used them on a bunch of my projects over the years. So if you haven't checked them out, you got to. I mean, dude, look at these brake setups. This is what I'm needing for the C10, man. Tons of goodies, good people too. Stone Custom Fab. Looks like they make some heavy duty control arms, GSIs out here. They're also from the West Coast in Arizona, I believe. Making the hike. Got a couple of trucks over here. Front cross member, the coilover setup. Got this nice Apache laying frame, looking right. Nice, clean, simple interior. It's beautiful. You got a nice 67 sitting right here. Some Holly goodies on that. Beautiful. Let's check out the interior of this truck. This must be a big guy. That seat's all the way back. <laughs> yeah, that's nice and super clean. And you get a, a peek at all the GSI goodies in the back. Precision weather stripping I've used them before on stuff. They make some good, good stuff. C10 girl, if you haven't bought any of her gear, you got to. What's up, man? What's up, man of the hour, Mr. Brian Ashley. 
How you doing, sir? Hey, Good to see you. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you for coming. It's super clean, dually rolling in. Got some nice interior there. Square dash. With the puppy. <laughs> the GM tailgate tour. If you guys haven't heard about this, they're gonna do a uh, power tour style event starting in Tennessee and I think looping down through Mississippi, going back up to Tennessee. But check out this pace truck. I just met the owner, Justin, a little bit ago. He came by, was chatting with me at the Dooley. Saw it yesterday in the rain, but this thing is so sick. Look at the interior on this. So it's not, this is all, this is both leather. It's not the cloth like mine is. Very, very cool. He's got an old school cassette player in there. Check that out. He's got the old school gauges. Look at these brakes. Look at these wheels. Look at the whole thing. Golly, like guys, these brakes are huge. Like I just can't tell you. Like look at how big this six piston caliper is. Little shop manufacturing, I believe. He's got some uh, deep dishes in the rear. Like these guys are way deep and I didn't touch it. But yeah. He's got some bed work done to get that truck down on the ground. Super, super, super cool. Well, look at this. It's a very clean OBS right here. Bullock's Body Works is who built this truck. Super cool. Did a really good job with that paint. It's nice. Keep walking on down here. It's kind of like a food truck area. Grab yourself some lemonade, some donuts, some coffee. I might need some of that. Got a little food truck alley down here. And then, hey, there's more trucks over there. Look what I found. Louis. I've seen this truck online. It's the first time seeing it in person. Cover truck. Oh yeah, man. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, buddy. yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> you gotta fire the truck up for his page, man. Oh, you the, thing, the thing is, that, yeah, dude, I love this thing, you man. You wanna fire it up? Yeah, absolutely, of course. <laughs> hey, buddy, cover your ears. It's gonna get loud. <laughs> That thing is freaking crazy, dude. It's a little rowdy. Yeah, she's just a little rowdy, bro. A little rowdy. Oh, man, that's awesome. I appreciate the ride, hey, brother. No problem, man. Thank you, you thank you. 100% highlight of my day riding in Dave's 65C10. Got to follow this dude on Instagram, 65 Red Chevy, 65 Red C10. I'll drop, a, uh, I'll drop his Instagram handle down here. And also, dude, Lou Perez's freaking 79C10 build. This thing came out so sick. 
super good, super cool group of guys, but I'm gonna keep walking. I'm gonna catch back up with my group, make a sandwich, cause I'm getting a little hot, a little hungry. Look at this thing, dude. Sorry, I get distracted. I'm gonna film some of these trucks while I'm walking back to my truck. I need a sandwich and some water. This is the cool thing about this show is literally every corner you turn down, there's just all kinds of stuff. Hey, we saw uh, this dude cruising in yesterday. Some really nice trucks over here. What's this uh, 71, 72 C10 looking like? Okay. Well, that is a motor. Nice. That's a nice color. I'm, I'm really digging like these uh, medium olive colors lately, like uh, Ryan Myers, Dirty Martini C10. Oh, look at the, uh, I'm liking that pinstripe there. And the graphics. Thinking about doing some kind of graphics on uh, Cookie Monster. Some really, really clean trucks here. Oh man, look at this. Look, he's got the inside headlight, the yellow inside headlight. That's cool. I ain't scared. Looking over here, somebody put a stripe kit on a on an S10 there. That looks actually pretty cool. Oh man, look at this blazer. 77. Got that yellow trim action going on. Some nice interior. That's cool. There's some Transit 20s on there. Super cool. Yeah, that, that S10 is pretty cool, man. 2.5 liter fuel injection. Check out the interior. Yeah, that's just super cool, man. And it's a manual. Anti-theft device nowadays. Check out the wheels too. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice setup right there. Well, uh, this might be a new project for the channel. I'm kind of digging this. It's a cool Apache right there. So this is Corsart's new polished Alcatraz wheels. I wanted a set of uh, polished Kingpins for the Blazer, but they hadn't come out with them yet. So I had to go with the gunmetal, which I think looked nice, but I feel like these would look just a little bit better. And then just a bunch of really cool GM trucks everywhere. I'm gonna show you guys this Suburban up here. Oh, look at that, it's original paint. Ochre. That's super cool. Same wheels that's on the, the C10 over there. I love this color on the Suburban. Saw this thing out here last year. Just a super cool OG paint. You can see the primer starting to come through. All right, back at the truck, give me a sandwich. Hey guys, out here with Joey, one of our power tour buddies. Uh, he's got a killer truck. I didn't really get to show you guys on the tour, so I'm gonna flip this camera around so he can tell us all about it. It's a 78, uh, I've owned it about five years now. Um, it's had, the, it's been painted and original LS swap when I bought it. Uh, pretty much everything from there I've been through. Uh, changed, modified, fixed, whatever. Heck yeah, uh, man. Constant changes. We were just talking about this paint. We don't know what the paint coat is and we're not gonna speculate or even try to attempt to guess what it is, but it's beautiful. So it's 5.3. A um, little BTR cam, a few Holly accessories, headers. Um, <clears throat> it's got slosh tubs in it, give it a little more room up in the front. Um, upgrades to the steering. Um, the radiator's actually been done a couple times. The power tour beat it up one year, had leak after leak. Uh, what that's what an, company makes that? That is an entropy radiator. You get it through. Um, that's nasty, dude. Yeah. Um, that's cool. 
Yeah, it's a great radiator. Um, it, it cools it great. I never have any problems. It pretty much maintains the same temperature all Fact the time. Factory AC too? Most of the AC is factory. I bet it works great, the, man. It actually does work pretty good. It gets pretty cold in there. It gets cold enough. I'm more of a windows down kind of guy. Uh, when you need that AC, I'm, man. I'm running AC if it's raining or humid when we can't can't run. This is yeah. a this is a new uh, excess power lithium battery that I tried this year. Um, it's it, been pretty impressive so far. It weighs like nothing. The best right? thing about it is it actually feels like one of those empty plastic demo cells. It weighs almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it's, it's doing great for me. Yeah. Happy with it. Um, I've done some. Put a transmission cooler in here. Uh, okay, to keep yeah, that so thing. A in lines. To keep that thing cool again. It's always a driver power tour. Everything's got to stay cool, stay maintained. Yeah, we were just talking how we have to do a delicate balance between having a really nice paint job and like a driver paint job. Because guys, this truck is straight. I mean, it's got great quality paint. It, it does. Done really it's nice. starting to get some signs of of wear and tear from driving it so much, but it still stays pretty slick. And you told me this paint job was 20 years old. So the story I've actually gotten the story from several other people. Somebody painted it about 20 years ago, more or less lost interest and in it sat. Uh, so now I'm just doing everything I can to maintain the paint. It's beautiful, man. It's it does beautiful. have a Expel coating on the hood to protect that. The rest of it's. What's the coating on the hood? The Expel, the, you can actually see the outline of the plastic. It does have a protective. Oh, oh I do see that. Yep. Okay, I need to, I'll probably need to talk to you about that off camera. I, yep. I want to do something like that for the dually. Yeah. So walk us through this interior, man. This is super nice. So the interior nice. is um, the coated digital gauges. The door panels and the seats were basically bought from TMI uh -huh. and then just modified a little bit. All we did was the inserts and the door panels and okay. then we just pulled apart TMI seats and uh, did relicate leather and the plaid. Oh, you got the plaid headliners or the uh, yeah, visors Yeah, little too. sun visors in there to, to just tie in a little bit. Yeah. And then the center console is something that I kind of quickly built for Power Tour and had a rhino line so that I would withstand any spills or anything like that. And that the center console is actually a box for a JL 10 inch sub. And it, does it house a sub in there? It's, it's oh, got okay. a down firing 10 inch sub in it. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so you got your tunes. Yep. So it actually has the amp under the seat. It's got the whole system in it, and there's actually nothing behind the back seat. So you've still got a little storage back there. Heck yeah, man. Oh, yep. that's awesome. Line X in the bed because yep. obviously we use it. Um, now, painted uh, bed is nice, but it just, you know, I've already got some scratches from using it, but this, yeah. I really enjoy this part of it. Yeah, but that's the thing you use this truck. And on the Power Tour, if you guys remember this truck, had a big box in the back that looked like a pallet of PVR. Yeah, so the first year that we did the Power Tour, we are coming up with ideas of just where to put all our stuff. Like I said, we've got a full-size floor jack, tools, everything in it. Yeah. Somehow we came up with this crazy idea to build a box and make it look like a pallet of PBR. Yeah. Uh, it was just sort of on a whim, but people sort of took to it. And actually other people started calling it the PBR truck. So we yeah. just went with it. Yeah, check it out right and, here. Uh, PBR now we've got the right shirts there. made. Yeah. <laughs> and now the box has done the tour five times. Yeah. So it's sort of become the PBR truck. That's how people know yeah. it. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. Um, and then we were talking about the wheels and uh, brake setup too. So it's got Budnick wheels. Um, bare brakes, six piston in the front, four piston in the rear. Um, it's actually got a Curry Pro Touring Fab nine inch in the back. Oh, really? It's shortened a little bit. It's about two inches per side. Oh, that's sweet. It's all Ride Tech coil over. Is that a Boyd fuel cell? And then a Boyd fuel cell on yep. the back. Yep. That's, uh, that's a great setup. You got like coil over, so the four link? Yep. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, rides great. Rides pretty low. And still rides really, really nice. It does ride really low. When I was uh, when we were riding with you guys down the interstate, I was just like the wheels, like you were saying, they're pulled in a little more. That's that's one thing I noticed. Yep. And the truck just rides so low, and it's just such a nice yeah, no, it's just a uh, nice stance. And the tubs in the front gave us just enough room. Is there where, anything done to the cross member up here, or is it no? The cross, cross member is actually stock, which is the Ride Tech arms and sway bar. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. This to me is what it's all about, man. You build a truck to drive it. Like you drove it's, it here from whereabouts? Only Knoxville today. So okay. two hours, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But you've done the power tour for the last but six it's years. It's done 
actually five because we missed okay. 2020. Oh, that's right. That's so right. Okay. in six years, we've done five, yeah. Right. But it's done probably 10,000 miles of power tour alone. Yeah. Uh, so we've got some miles on it. It's been in a few states. Um, it's fun to drive, man. It's super yeah. fun to drive. Like I said, I'm windows down. Even today, weather was great. I loved driving it out here. Yeah. Wouldn't have any, any other way. Dude, Joey, appreciate you showing us the truck, yeah, man. man. That's awesome. Enjoy yeah. the show, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Look at the, the rear fenders. They put them up so super high to get those wheels to tuck. Oh, it looks good. We found Sarah, who's conveniently let us crash their booth, uh, square body booth. Um, but I really want to talk about this truck because one, it just got done. Yes. And two, this is the second show that it's at. So not a lot of people have really seen this truck yet. So let's dive right in and flip this camera around and let her take over, tell us about the square body. Let's take it from the very, very top. What made you want to get a square body? Because you drive something that's definitely not even a truck. Yeah. So tell us about that. Okay. Um, I have a 2013 STI hatchback that's on bags at this point. Um, so I guess that got me started into the whole car thing. And then I met and fell in love with Rich, Richard Cheeseman <laughs> and uh, fell in love with the square body lifestyle. And then I wanted my own. And it's a really killer truck. I mean, the patina on this thing is awesome. We're obviously yeah. gonna dive into all that, but then there's a little bit more meaning behind this build than what meets the eye, right? Yes. Um, so when we bought this truck, I was in the middle of chemo for breast cancer stuff. Um, and Rick had this super thoughtful gift for me that made me cry instantly. That's really cool. And it was, I guess right around the same time that we bought the truck, we bought it from Phil Cato. It was a super good deal because he's a good guy and um, also did the seat in here. Um, although Atlanta Stitchworks did the um, door inserts uh, with the same color leather, Which same kind of leather. Really cool. Yeah. Um, and then all the inside stuff. Well, this needs some work, so don't film that too. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But all the little pillars and stuff on the inside, we got those yeah. from AMD. And then Cato wrapped those. Just stuff that I don't think people really even knew that AMD did. Right. So there's a lot of it. Even the bezel, yeah. which I was excited that had chrome on it. Fits pretty good. It does. Yep. And here's the... Uh, all the vents. Those are wrapped in the leather. This interior came out super clean. Yeah, it did. I'm really happy with it. So to, to touch on uh, your your journey with this build and everything that's going on, where are you at now with all of that? Just so we want to get everybody up to date on what's oh, going on. Oh, with the cancer stuff? Yes, with the cancer stuff. I've been in remission for a yeah. while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my hair came back curly, which it wasn't before. Right. I heard that that's a thing. Um, and so the, the community was so good to me um, when I had cancer that I felt like it was time to start giving back. So when Rick and I started our own show, we chose the Pink Fund um, to be the beneficiary of our fundraising raffle and just try to keep giving back. And um, I guess it's just meaningful to me to have all the pink stuff, yeah. raise awareness. Yeah, like you got um, your pink sticker up yeah. here. And the show she's talking about, guys, is that C10's in the city. Yes. They are the creators of that show and it's up to 400 trucks yeah right now, it's just gonna keep getting year. bigger it's only once a year now once a year it's now too much okay so it is june, a lot june 2024 is the next one because we just Perfect. had yeah. and I, let's touch on these wheels because not only are these wheels killer but they're a little bit different than normal wheels right yeah so detroit steel um sponsored these wheels they're 20 by 8 in the front 20 by 11 in the back with three uh, and a quarter inch backspace and then on the inside, you'll see that uh, the little windows show that the back half of the wheel has been powder, powder coated a copper. Right. The front is powder coated chrome. And then I think what really sets it off is they clear coated after that and then hooks detailing went in and ceramic coated it, which I feel took away from some of the, took off some of the texture. Okay. So now it's just super smooth and basically looks like chrome, which is what I was going for. And very easy to clean so easy to clean right Two no seconds. polishing yep. yeah but it looks like almost like a polished wheel mm -hmm. when you're walking up on it and yep. the back lip on this one check this out this is a really that's a decent lip back here yeah man so brutal pretty dope if i do say so myself it, yeah it is and hooks detailing they he uh polished and ceramic coated this as well correct he did paint correction and polish it and did ceramic coat on the whole truck Let's see if we can complete get... a game changer 
So you got original paint here, Ceramico over it, but look at the reflection. Super nice. He does crazy work. He, he does. does. Really he's nice he's work. the best. He's the best out there. Yep. And then AMD, I think they supplied some parts up here as well, correct? They did all of the parts and pieces. So they did bumper, grill, headlight bezels, um, little bow tie. Really? They did these. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Wheel opening. And yep. actually, Scott from Atlanta Custom, or Custom Coders of Atlanta, powder coated even the trim in here. Nice. Yeah, because it's. I thought it was a pinstripe at first, but it's powder coated. Less over performance window tinting did all of the tint for the truck. All right. Um, Very cool. He did a clear tint here just to keep the sun off me. Um, okay, yeah. And because I don't want to have tint while I'm driving at night, even though I think yeah. it looks really cool. But yeah. so he came up with that solution for me. And then awesome. obviously back the rest of the truck. So once one thing I noticed today on this truck, because I followed her like all the way up here, is you can see that the sponsors of this build ghosted into the paint. It's just a decal, but yep. it's really cool. It's a little, it's a really cool little, little detail. It's a five, seven drop. Yes. Uh, McGoy's and then okay. how's it doing? Mike Howe. Mike Howe. Uh, installed all of that, cut the rear end to make those really cool wheels fit. Um, I think he said two and a quarter on each side. Yeah, he does really, really good work too. If you guys don't follow Mike Howe, you got to. Uh, the man is awesome. He just started his own YouTube channel too, I believe. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so United by Trucks and Pancake Breakfast Club wasn't enough. Now he's yeah. got his own. <laughs> yeah. um, but I like it because he, you know, he's the one that's in the shop all the time. So he can yeah. take you through every little detail yeah. that, yeah. you know, you can't capture just when your friends are at the shop. Exactly. So, yeah, it should be a good channel. It's kind of like a theme that I'm seeing in this truck. It's ceramic coated, all the, well, all the. Yeah, you know, I can't be bothered to be scrubbing things. Yeah, you're my, too busy. My Subaru is ceramic coated too, but by uh, Rick's brother, Mark Cheeseman down in uh, oh, Delray yeah. Beach. He does some really good work too. I saw him do a uh, paint correction on like a Ford Pinto. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, that thing and was it, cool. It looked, it was like red, faded, uh -huh. and then like when he was done with it, it looked Completely like fresh changed. paint. Yeah. He did Rick's black truck, the 07 too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude's awesome, man. If you are interested in learning more about all the parts that are on the truck, so whether it be from AMD, the specs for the wheels, uh, what kit I used from McGoy's, if you go to c10sinthecity.com, click on C10 ITC truck, and it has a full list of literally everything that's on my truck. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, Sarah actually does web design too. I do. If you need a website, <laughs> smallsitesbysarah.com. Um, I did C10 Fall Revival's yep. website. I did my website, sqrbdy. Yeah. So. So like all of her websites are very intuitive. So if you go in to check that out, you'll see like yeah. the great work that she does. And uh, also love the touch on the uh, license plate as well. Oh yeah. It's super cool. Sarah, thank you so much for walking yeah. us around the truck. It's awesome being able to cruise to with you. Oh yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> it's awesome being able to cruise with you guys. Oh, and yeah. now it's awesome that we added another square body to the fleet. Now I'm not just tagging along, I'm part of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, calling the shots. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I did not get nearly as much footage as I wanted today, but I've just been spending the day hanging out, catching up with my truck friends, and talking to a lot of people about the Dually, which has been really super cool. But now we're packing up everything. Well, they're packing up everything, and Lauren and I are gonna go to Nashville to grab some hot chicken and uh, see what we can get into. Driving through the city with a dually is a really interesting experience. Let's just say cities aren't made for uh, dually travel. Found a spot going to Hattie B's to grab some Nashville hot chicken, which is something we missed out on last year. But we did have some really bomb barbecues. So heard a lot about hot Nashville hot chicken. We're gonna see what it's all about. Dude, totally forgot to even mention the Yeah Buddy Garage t-shirt. Check it out. Fresh print, don't have any for sale yet, but drop a comment below and let me know if you guys would want to purchase something like this. Yo, got our hot chicken over here. Lauren got chicken tenders. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Leaving Hattie B's, gotta say, it was some pretty damn good chicken, but I will say, I think I would rather not get hit by this car 
and go to Martin's Barbecue. Hey! The hot chicken was awesome, don't get me wrong, and it was some really good chicken, but chicken is chicken, but freaking barbecue, man, like when you have good, real barbecue, that is what's up. Now we're gonna hit up the Baked Bear, which we did stop by there last year, and when we went in, man, it was like a torrential downpour, but they have some of the best ice cream sandwiches I've ever had in my life. Not a sweets guy, but damn, dude, wait till you see these things. Baked freaking bear. Cool thing too, this is a public parking lot and the dually is parked right over there. <clears throat> Orin left me. This is the perfect spot for us. Look at this ice cream sandwich, dude. We got a, their cookie monster cookie. So it's like a, it's got crushed Oreos and stuff on top. Lauren's already diving in. I, I got a cookie in there. What cookie did you get? Just chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. I got a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, and then what is it? The caramel pretzel fudge ice cream, and the cookies are heated. Oh, did you get your cookies warm? Yes, <laughs> I got them warmed. All right, Lauren's hands are full, so I'm gonna try to give you guys. There you go, the experience here. Don't you just pick it up like a champion. Oh, I'm getting called out now. Like you mean it? Oh, oh my gosh, making this. <laughs> Here you go. Right there. Oh man, this is so good. Oh, you're gonna get it? Right? Bro, when we came in, she said, All right, she's like, You wanna share something? I said, Yeah, and I pointed out the first cookie, and she's like, I don't want that. It was a cold. Mm -hmm. Took a bite. Let me know what you think. I regret not sharing with you. <laughs> it is so good. This place is bomb, dude. I love it even more. They have the mm. Cookie Monster cookie and the sign. Yeah. Cookie Monsters only. Five seconds later, mine's gone. Lauren's is, you tapping out? Struggling. Oh my gosh, really? You have all that to eat. I know. We're not leaving until that's gone. Well, we're across the street from the festivities. <laughs> it is packed over there, dude. Had to get away from that music. This is more like it. That's the back of the shop that we were just in. Got this guy coming. Old Continental. There is the other pace truck. A sweet Camaro here. There's a 454 SS truck over there. Yo, look at this thing, dude. That's nuts, bro. Now this is a shop, dude. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, two post lifts over here. These trucks are a little high though, for my liking. Looks like we got another dually over here. Well, look at there. Got the old cow hood on it. White cab lights, some stogies. You got one of these things. Don't know what that's called, but it's like a fancy uh, slingshot. <laughs> a Venice, okay, that's what that is. That's pretty sweet looking. It is pretty sweet looking, but they put these crazy wheels on it, dude. Like, that's pretty cool. They, Got those wheels on there. Anyway, got some more lifted trucks back here. Couple of C10s. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How you doing? Good. How y'all doing? Good. Hey. 
He's got like one of these 26s. 24s. They look big on there. Damn, look at this Continental, dude. Got some bare brakes on there with drilled and slotted rotors. Beautiful wheels. Beautiful paintwork. Oh, this is on a floor lift. Well, would you look at that? Oh, I could do one of these in our garage. No, I can't. No, I can't. We're walking around checking this place out, man. Look at this Ford. Well, that grill looks kind of funny to me. What do you think's in there? That's probably for a turbo there. Okay. Yeah. How many uh, Ford purists do you think this guy pissed off? Also, he narrowed the front bumper, tucked it in a little bit. That's nice. Got rid of the O and the R, so it might actually be a running and driving truck. Got some good hood pins right there. Some slicks in the back. Oh, look at this fuel set. Look at this, dude. This one keeps on giving. Dang, got nitrous on here. Got a fuel system in the back. This is a race truck. What kind of rear ends he got? Oh. All right, we just left Brian's Motorsports uh, event. It was pretty crazy, but we just couldn't really talk to anybody. I don't know, it was fun, but we're going back to the Star Stuck Ranch. Anyway, I did get to catch up with the owner of the pace truck who invited me out there, but look who's right in front of us. We just happened to catch him on the interstate and we're about to get a roller. Just got back to the Starstruck Ranch, got the dually posted up right next to Joel's truck. Now this is the guy that made the Chevy sign for me that you guys saw at the very beginning of the video. Anyway, they are jamming out in here. It's like an open mic night with a live band. Really cool stuff happening. Lauren's probably gonna be participating in that while I start editing this video for you guys. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate the support. If you're already a subscriber, you're a freaking awesome human being. That's gonna do it for me on this video, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one.